She can make a whole apple pie out of this. Or maybe like this big. Okay? It's like this big. That's one of the trees. Twined all the way up. Need help with that, or you can control? So they twine up the branches to uh, keep them closely tightened while we it's in shipping, so nothing breaks. And we could reuse the twine. Actually, it has another little knotty right here. Mom, I don't want to pull it too tight. But your little fingers are pretty good at those. Now, can we turn it? There you go. If one is too hard, I'll get some scissors. Okay. Yeah, guys, I'm excited for this one. This one's the Wolf River Apple um, Semi Door. Nice big root stock. Yeah, and they're supposed to be huge apples. Okay. So this is one. Okay, guys, and then um, this is our next tree. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. Nice root. Yeah, and There's this one is area. this one is the um, blushing delight urban apple. Let's see. Kind of a twisted tank. Okay. But um, yeah, so I'm excited for this one. And the reason why we got um. Well, there's multiple reasons, but one is because I like apples, and another re reason is just because we just want to grow an apple tree. Yeah, more apples. This one is the uh, oh, Ma uh, Mata Apple Semi Dwarf. This is the label. And that one, um, isn't it red? The red apple is red in the um, red on the outside and red in the inside. So we're it's a really unique tree. I'm really, really excited to. Because <laughs> so we have one, two, three apples. Yeah. But this is, uh, we have another apple tree, so this is probably our fourth apple. Yeah, we have this one, which is the red delicious. 
and then this one here is just the root stock that grew we're just kind of keeping it maintained with this because when this one grew when we left out of state this one took over and it gave us green apples and we just loved them especially in the apple pie so we kind of just want to still keep that red but but um we kept this down so it doesn't take over so cute. Yeah, so a long time ago, I'll explain the history. The history. history. Of why? Yeah, a long time ago, maybe in like 2020. I think 2021. And uh, I drew, I uh, grabbed paper and I was trying to make ideas for the garden. And I thought, what if we put flowers and a pretty white picket fence? Yeah. And I thought it would look so pretty. And there's flowers. So that's what the Agnesia bag said. Flowers. And it's like we have the purple. We tried growing the green before, but it didn't make it. And then over here we have the home pots, which have pretty hot pink flowers. Yeah. Oh my goodness, guys! We found a worm. Mom found our mom found a worm. Well, we find lots of worms, but this one's fat. <laughs> that was pretty big. And um, so we so we never got the chance because we couldn't find a perfect picket fence. Yeah. To you know here and i just think it looks so cute yeah dad so, found this yeah so um we just thought well why not make the idea come true so that's when we started building these beds a long time ago and then just recently maybe like two days ago we put up the, the fence yeah so it's really exciting because um that's my idea <laughs> and my mom's idea it came true but well, it you came know true. what we should put pansies or um or what's it called? would be so pretty. A marigold. Yeah. And then, guys, our project over here, so I'm going to give you guys um, a tour of what all the projects that we do. We put up this, um, this fountain with a circle, and we're going to be putting pansies, or we can't figure it with just any type of flower. And it, it has to be edible, though, because our garden's supposed to be edible. That's our goal. All just, all just at least 97% edible. Yeah. So we're all, we're in the other 3% is the grass. So, <laughs> in the rocks. So, we're gonna be putting flowers here all around it. It's gonna be so pretty. And when it rains, it gets a birth have a nice little water. <laughs> Rain water. And then, um, just recently, guys, just recently we planted all these Mounds. And me and Ellie actually planted these pansies. Yeah. So go check that. Yeah, it is posted. Um, this is the Wolf River apple. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Um. So yeah, so that's really exciting, guys, because. Um, I love apples, they're my favorite fruit. That's a fun fact. Um, oh, I want to show them the mango glue. And that's the mango glue. And if you want wanting to know what's surround it, we put garden soil and uh, cedar. Yeah. And then we just cleaned the dirt around the rocks because um, we're trying to make the hole perfect. So yeah. Huh? I was going in. Ah, uh, I'm going in. I'm going to show you more. I'm going to spring tour. Because on March 20th, we're going to be doing a spring tour. 
Yeah. So stay tuned. Because we're going to show up. We're going to try to show each plant we have. Each tree, each plant, each vine. <laughs> Free Tim? Yeah. Right. right. Welcome to our home and garden plant. Welcome I wonder to our home and garden. I think it needs to be a little bit deeper. Was that a good spot? Yeah. We didn't twist it right here. Uh-uh. We'll try it. Uh-huh. Watch the um, stems and pump up your eyes. I think that's good. Yeah. That's what it looks like, guys. Okay. Yeah. Wanna hold that straight up, Mom? Give a chance to grow a little larger. Yeah, it's the cool. that is the uh, puff of the banana ice, ice cream. cream. Uh huh. Oh, so is that the one? That one does. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So this is the puff. Yeah, this is the puff of that tree. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna make a mound. I'm always gonna make a mound. So if you don't know how to make a mound, guys, you just have to collect all the dirt and kind of raise it up a bit and then pat it down. Yeah. It's not that hard, guys. But if you have trouble, then it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Try not to hit that little something. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Thanks. <laughs> 
Dang, that's, that's actually a nice one. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm coming through, Mom. I'm coming through. Why does my skin look orange on the camera? Yeah, I don't know about So what I'll do is while you're making that beautiful circle mound, I will um, go start the next hole, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little bit tricky with that pineapple there. Pineapple? I said pineapple? Yeah. With that, um... Pineapple. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, wait, we have a pineapple? Same. Guys, we actually got pineapples before, and we got one. Yeah, it was indoors though. Yeah, it was indoors. Um, but we did not do that on the video because that's when we didn't have the YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I need to work on that too. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> Good, can I help? sweet Hawaiian pomegranate and then another wonderful pomegranate. Sandals and no shoes. <laughs> and the birds are whistling. And I'm 
working on the pomegranates and an Almada apple or Almeida apple, I can't remember. The Almada apple is going in and we're so excited. I hope it goes successfully. So here it goes. <laughs> I was accidentally showing my shoes. <laughs> I was wearing the sandal. Hey, Mom. Let's cut that part off, Mom. Huh? <laughs> For real. <clears throat> No, thank you. I'm loving your boots, Mom. Thank you. Good, I like it. Okay guys, so this is what we have so far. So we have our modern apple, which is red on the outside and red in the inside. So that's really neat. I hope, I hope it's successful. So then we have um, the uh, wonderful pomegranate. And we're, we're going to be tying each branch to the chalice so that it can grow well. And then... Um, we're here planting um, a whole white sweet um, pomegranate, and then <clears throat> careful, okay. So we're gonna put the the wider trellis because this one's only 22 feet 21 inches yeah so we're gonna get the 50 inch here and then make the apple go over yeah so um guys i'm so sad about this because it's so unique a red apple inside guys like can you believe that can't wait to taste it can't wait to taste it guys and our plum already grew its leaves That's the Babcock peach and that's a three in one. It has nectarines, complete peaches, and plums. Pretty. All right. <laughs> okay, so we changed our mind. We're not putting the Almada apple tree there. We put it there. We weren't worried about this beautiful tree because we figured out that it's a Bradford pear or a, I think it's a Cullery, Cullery, Cullery pear. So we're either going to cut it right there and graft some pears or Asian pears or something, but we have to take that out. It's not only going to give us little tiny baby fruits that don't, I guess, taste good and they smell and they're vigorous and we, we want edible trees. So we're going to take this tree out, even though it's very beautiful. It's not edible. So that is going to just go over the trellis. 
hopefully we're going to try to train it to go over the trellis and see how it works but we're going to put a wider trellis here and take this one out this was the real grapefruit our old one we're just growing this probably a sour orange or something from it so we took it out that's part of the root stock and that was there we took it out and it was tons of water in there almost like a I don't know quicksand every time I kept trying to dig it out it kept sucking the tree back in and I dig it out and the tree would go in deeper it's kind of weird but every time I pick up the tree uh, with the shovel it go whoosh, and you can hear the suction or sucking it in it's uh, really hard to work with right now it's almost like quicksand but we were trying to put the apple tree here the I think it's called Colmenar apple <laughs> why is it chewing like that man? the Hanks just look Look at that, look at how this jiggles. Oh my god. What do you think it is? Oh no. It's right where we took out the tree. And it just jiggles. The roots weren't that big. Oh my god. The roots weren't that big, so I didn't think that I would bust a pipe or anything. Mm -hmm. It didn't have to go that deep, it just pulled right out. But for some reason, it just reflects. Hey, look, there's a ladybug. <clears throat> My mom saved it from the mud. Okay guys, well now we're just gonna go get the apple tree. Yeah. I'll take forever though. It's like a plastic piece. So, um, now we're gonna go plant it. So let's go, guys. Let's go. Wait, does that mango blend? Yeah. So you can just pretty much push it down and then put some dirt. Yeah. Go ahead and hold this, Ayana. Okay. Circle, guys. Oh, it's weird. It's like jiggly. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just gonna let my finger go. <laughs> Mom put some soil. I'm helping you. And um, <laughs> our mom, <laughs> our sis, I mean, my, 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 my sis. <laughs> That's <laughs> weird. Helping. Help me. Because <laughs> of the situation with the dirt? Yeah, I don't want to do that. Very cool. 
It's very tough. Isn't this rough for you? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, we might have to take it out from the situation with the dirt, cause like, it's super jiggly, guys, look. Yeah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Dang. Guys. It's so long. Oh, wait, what was I even recording? There's a lot of worms here. This, the situation, the situation with the dirt is very weird, guys. But we're just gonna have to see how it does. If not, we don't want the tree to drown in this. Yeah. So if it doesn't do good, then we'll probably have to move it, cause. Maybe just a lot of rain or something. Yeah, it might have just been like a lot of rain. I've never seen the earth do that before, though. Now look at that, guys. Yeah. Like, like zoom in on that. Look at that. Look at that jiggle. You see a jiggle. Mhm. Mm it's weird. I have to talk to dad and ask dad if what's going on. That's actually kind of scary. It was not like a sinkhole. Yeah, the roots are kind of Guys, if you know what this is, please tell us in the chat, uh, comments. And, but if you don't know, then that's okay. We don't have any sprinkler set up here. Oh, well, I don't even think we have a sprinkler pipe set up here, so. No, I never, I don't ever remember having a sprinkler pipe right and here. One sprinkler pipe we did bust, we fixed, and that, but that was in a different area. But there's good worms. Good, good worms. worms. Right there, look, there's a worm right there. A lot of worms in there. Oh, one right there. I yeah. just planted it on top and then I just put dirt, pushed it in a little and put dirt because I don't know what's going on. I don't want it to sink. Yeah. So I just added the dirt on top. Yeah, guys, look at this. And we're just going to put Look mulch. at the jiggle. Yeah. That's not normal. <laughs> I want to put mulch, but um, I'm going to talk to the, I want to have dad look at this first before we put mulch on it. Because mm -hmm. the mulch will help absorb the water, but we need to see why it's like that. All right, there's your tree. There's our tree, guys. There's our tree, guys. We hope it does good. Let me get out of your way. So good. You Hopefully, it's not a sinkhole in here. Yeah. I don't think it's a sinkhole. This is how it looks, guys. Very nice. Just see you guys. The full thing in the tag. Oh, yeah. Just can you hold the, <laughs> you hold the tag? That's a pretty good because you got kale behind it. Yeah, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. She caught herself. <laughs>
looks like a wild berry and it has thorns too. And we're just gonna make it, um, we decided to let it just grow this way. And we're gonna plant boysenberries, these boysenberries, two plants in each bag. Um, on the other side, and they have thorns too, so we're just gonna let it grow. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be planting some boysenberries, and um, we've grown, grown these before, and they gave us such a huge like, amount of like, a batch, right? Mm-hmm. So it's good. Yeah, but that, those ones we had before was thornless, so these have thorns? Yes, they have Oh, so these ones have thorns. So, gotta be a little careful. So because this one has thorns on it, I just said it would be perfect just to put the boysenberries here. Wait, that's good. Hey guys, so I'm going to be planting the boysenberries now, and this is what they look like. So, um, now I'm just going to be making my hole for the boysenberry. So about like that is fine. And then we're just gonna be planting it right here. And then we're gonna cover it with the dirt. Although I think it could be a little deeper. So I'm just gonna make it a little deeper. Maybe right there. Oh no, it's like a leaf. Uh -huh. gonna steal some of this dirt. And there we go guys. Yeah, uh no. And then you guys just want to pat the plant down carefully like this. Yeah. And then now I'm going to make, um, plant, I'm going to plant the next one. That's what this one looks like. Okay, so there's a worm. from the other um, plant right, um, other hole right here for our next boys bears and there we go guys boysenberries planted. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Can you see? Is it show? Uh oh, no. Oh. But <laughs> I just looks like hair. Hey guys, and I always gonna be um planting um the next boysenberries. I have yeah. Charles right here. Sorry guys. Hey guys, so now I always going to be planting um two boysenberries. The boysenberries. Hey guys, and I always gonna be planting the next boysenberries. I have to make my hole, so I'm gonna make my hole, guys, real quick. And I got some dirt here, so you don't have to go too deep. Okay. Ready? Oh. Like that? Yeah.
freebies for jams? We made a smoothie once. Mm-hmm. Jams. Just on their own. Yeah, just on their own is good too. And salads? Salads. Guys, I'm just gonna push down, like what she did. Put your fingers uh, between the um, plant and then uh, push down. I think there should be enough, right? Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same. What she did, make a mound. The next plant, the, guys. This one's our last boysenberry. Yeah, it's our last boysenberry plant. Yeah. It grows runners um, underneath, and it um, and it grows new plants. Yeah. So that's what's cool. It's gonna rain tonight and um, all weekend, so we don't really have to water this um, them. Yeah, guys, look how pretty the kale looks right now. Oh yeah. It looks it, pr it looks so pretty fast. on camera. Yeah, it goes so it goes so fast. The birds sound pretty. on top of that trellis. Yeah. With the um the wild bear. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so I'm um, what I'm gonna do is dump the leftover soil that was left in the bag.
the grapes are growing. The blueberry grape that I got um, IB Organics from, I think it's Dave Wilson. Um, still having hope for it. And I don't want to see nobody yet. But maybe we'll have to see. Okay, I'm thinking maybe right there. Can you see that in the camera? That might be one right there. I hope so. That's your wolf apple. Hawaiian sweet Hawaiian that's gonna go here and then we have I think it's called the Parfionyanka really little but pomegranates grow quite kind of fast to me like, they don't take too long hope it makes it and then again another wonderful pomegranate that's starting to bloom all over Hopefully they don't go in the shock since we replanted them. And we're gonna try to train them on this trellis. Some will be bushy and stuff out the higher up, but I don't want them lower. And hopefully they look like little Christmas bulbs. We'll have to maintain them because I know they get large. I don't care if they go high, they just can't go real wide. I have to keep cleaning it and pruning it, but it'll be worth it. The girls will be really excited when they get their fruit and start picking at it and eating it.
um, like no. juice, so like yeah, marmalade, um, a, a, a rain pur egg. Rain yeah, that'd be good. Um, what we can also do is maybe, um, maybe like, uh, maybe put them in like sparkling water over ice, make it some. Oh, that'd syrup. be good. Yeah. Yeah, and you put them inside. I love sparkling flavored water. So what would that what would that be? Um, yeah, thanks. I think we just found a drink that we're gonna do. And if it's too sour, we can just put sugar in it. Stay tuned for that drink refreshment, huh? Stay tuned, guys. Um, we also made, made um, blackberry jam on Jacob. Okay, put, put the blackberry into the water. Go watch that video. That's what yeah. we were loving. We'll see you guys with the see you guys. See you guys. Thank you for spending the day with us. Comment down below if you have any more ideas that we can do with what are groups. What are all the things that we did today? So we planted um, we planted the Wolf River apple. We planted the um, two boysenberries. Four boysenberries. Four boysenberries. And then we planted the, uh, I can't remember what, oh, that blushing bloom. Culminar apple? Urban. Urban, Urban yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we... The Almada we harvested those apples. apples. We planted the uh, um, Almada apples, and we planted the pomegranates. Yeah. We planted the uh, what's the pom wonderful pom pomegranate? Parfionka. Oh, Parfionka. Here, I got the label. I, I've been trying to. It's Parfionka. Oh, Parfionka. It's Parfionka. It's right here. It's probably too dark to see it. Oh, the Hawaiian, oh, sweet the Hawaiian. Hawaiian. That's coming in the mail. Sweet Hawaiian, that's going to be coming in the mail. Stay tuned. See you guys. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. And then our mom helped us pick um, fruits. And then we did. We dug a, a drainage uh, all the way down, all the way down, so that way it doesn't flood so bad right here. Because yeah. we're going to have a, a quite a bit of rain coming up tonight. We'll I know, wearing shorts and flip-flops. All right, good night, everybody.